Hi, my name is Alyssa, and I'm here today with South Dundas Recreation to introduce you to the Discovery Lab. Today, we're going to be exploring two different experiments. The first one is we're going to explore what happens to a balloon when we mix together vinegar and baking soda. The second experiment that we're going to do today is how can we make our own chalk? Now, before we get started, I just want to remind you that when we're doing science at home, we want to make sure that our parent, grandparent, or older sibling is home so that they can look out for us and help us with these experiments. The first one we're going to do today is going to be our experiment with a balloon, vinegar, and baking soda. So to start, you're going to need a clear plastic bottle. You're also going to need a funnel of some sort, so I made my own with a water bottle. You're going to need a balloon, some baking soda, vinegar, a tablespoon measurement, and a teaspoon measurement. So to get started, we're going to need one teaspoon of baking soda. Now my one teaspoon of baking soda is going to go into my bottle. So I'm gonna use my funnel to make sure that it goes right in there. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my funnel and I'm going to stretch out the bottom of my balloon over the edge of my funnel. like this. Now I'm going to set this all aside and I'm going to bring over my vinegar. So I need three tablespoons of vinegar into my balloon. So there's one tablespoon and in it goes into my funnel and into my balloon. Two more. There's my second tablespoon of vinegar. And this is my third tablespoon of vinegar. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna put my lid on and move the vinegar out of the way. I'm going to bring back my plastic bottle with my baking soda in the bottom. And I'm going to remove my balloon from my funnel. Just like that. Now I'm going to stretch the end of my balloon over top of my water bottle. But I have to do this carefully because I don't want my vinegar to get into the bottom of the bottle. So I'm going to stretch it over and make sure my balloon is hanging on the side there. Now we're about to find out what happens when we mix together baking soda and vinegar. What does happen to the balloon? Do you have any guesses? Let's find out. I'm going to lift up my balloon and I'm going to let the vinegar drop into the baking soda. We're gonna see what happens. When you're ready to do that, you wanna make sure you have your hand holding the top of your water bottle where the balloon is because you don't want it to spray all over the place. I'm going to lift it up and drop it in. And the balloon inflates all by itself. You can see the bubbling at the bottom of the baking soda and the vinegar. Now you're probably wondering, why does the balloon inflate all on its own? Well, when the vinegar and the baking soda mix together, it creates a chemical reaction and it creates carbon dioxide, which fills the bottle and fills the balloon with gas, causing it to inflate all on its own. Very cool thing that we just learned at the Discovery Lab today. 
So now we know what happens to the balloon if we mix together baking soda and vinegar. Give that a try at home. The second experiment that we're going to do today is we are going to try and make our own chalk. So for that experiment, we are going to need plaster of Paris or some sort of powdered plaster. We're going to need a bowl. We're going to need a cup of water, some food coloring, a silicone ice cube tray, and a spoon. So I'm also going to be using my tablespoon measurement for this experiment. And I'm just cleaning it out from the vinegar that we used in it the last time. So I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of water that I'm gonna pour into my bowl. Again, I'm gonna dry off my measurement And then I'm going to take three tablespoons of my plaster of Paris and also put that right into my bowl. And three. Now before I mix it together, I want colored chalk. So I'm gonna take some green food coloring and I'm gonna pour quite a bit into my mixture here. And you wanna make sure that you have a lot because if you don't have enough, after a few days, your chalk's gonna be a very, very light color or even white. So you wanna make sure that you have quite a bit of color in there. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna mix that all together. And I'm going to mix until it's one color. So I don't want to see some spots that are light green and other spots that are dark green. I want it to be all the same color. Once you finish that, you're going to pour your mixture into your silicone ice tray. So with that mixture, I was able to make two pieces of chalk. I'm going to let this harden for about 12 hours. And once it's hardened, I'll be able to stick my finger right in the bottom and pop it out. And there you have your own pieces of chalk that you can draw on your sidewalk. So today at the Discovery Lab, we learned how to make our own chalk. And we also learn what happens to a balloon when we mix together baking soda and vinegar. We're going to be back next week to see what else we can discover. See you then.